one hundred <gasps> and six T dollars. Oh, if you didn't hear that, Crazy. not sixteen, six zero. Oh, six, God. 160 bucks. And then it talks about steak sauce. If you want to get the steak sauce, that's an extra eight bucks. Bruh. You want sauce? Eight dollars. And then indi- individual burgers. You can you pay fifty dollars for an eight ounce burger. <laughs> Eight ounces. It eight better ounce. be the best burger that's ever a tasted. Blend of Should we just rib? go one day just to try this uh, burger? burger? Just that, burger review at Capitol burger Grill. Review. Yeah, when's that happening? It's not gonna be a few months. <laughs> few, he was gonna say a few years. <laughs> a few years. No, no, I, I think it's more recently for a few years. years, bro. We're still waiting on that. From Mr. Broke Productions, in an association with Maximillionaire and Vice City Kingpin, present to you Life on Easy Mode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Did you audio? Did you? St- How about we test this? We already did test it. Okay, but you tested to to open up the footage though. Yeah, I, I know where it is. I know where it is. Okay. I opened it up. Yep, yep. Okay. I know where to find it. So okay. we're good. good. Everything's good. Enough space. Again, the only thing is, sh- oh, we got enough space because okay. it's on my has six hundred gigabytes of. Room. That's not enough. We need like eight million we terabytes. Need, we need terabyte, bro. We're like fucking NASA. <laughs> yeah, one um, video is, is six hundred. Yeah, so I know where to find it. The only thing is the video may be a little laggy, but that's about it. It's not steaming. It's not fanning. So I think we're all set. All right, we, we ready for we this, boys? Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it always steams, bro. Right. My thing's a tank engine. Anyways, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to a recorded episode of the Life on Easy Mode podcast. We're not doing right. live stream anymore. We're, Fuck that. We are no longer streaming. We are back on the recording grind. Um, as much as as convenient as the streaming was, I prefer a recording. Okay. Yeah. I don't yes. know. It's, it's just it's just a little more convenient. I can actually edit out when there's like awkward pauses, like right now. No, we're keeping this in now. <laughs> we didn't do it last week because I was very sick. I got like. I woke up. I didn't, uh, I had the worst headache, body chills. Surprisingly, my, not COVID. Surprisingly, not COVID. Yeah, you got tested like twice, right? Yeah, I, I got tested twice, and then my throat hurt. The next morning, no more body chills, no more headache, but I had the worst sore throat ever, and I, it hurt to close. It, it was, or it hurt to swallow and stuff like that. Like at one point, I couldn't even talk. At one point, and like I've had strep throat before. And I, this was worse. So I went to go see it. It was at a minute clinic um, right. at CVS. Um, so it did so much better than urgent cares. So only a few CVSs have them, though. So I got checked in. She tested me for strep. And she says, let me see your tonsils. You, you have your tonsils. I go, yes, I have to sell my tonsils. She, I, she goes, ah. And I go, ah. She goes, oh, you definitely have your tonsils because they are fucking huge. Damn, damn. <laughs> like, they, they have white spots on them. She goes, you definitely have strep. Tested. Just infrared balls. Yep, tested. Negative for strep. Damn. So... I could have had tonsillitis, which that's another possibility. It's not as like, I mean, it's the same thing as strep throat, but like this like hurt worse than strep. Like I I took the antibiot- antibiotic that started them last Wednesday. So, I mean, like my throat is fine right now. I'm going to do, I'm going to just. Out, shout out Minute Clinic. Yes. I'm gonna just going to finish up the antibiotic bottle. Um, It's only like a few pills left, but um, yeah, but I, we didn't do that last week because I was. Going to for a little while, just for about a week. <sighs> going to swallow shit. But yeah, we didn't uh do that last week. But a lot of things have been happening this week. Uh, One of the biggest topics. Real quick, before we get into oh, that, sorry. thinking about it now, why didn't me and you just do an episode, Miguel? Just out of yeah, curiosity. Yeah, that's what I asked you. Like, you Cause, guys. Because I thought. I personally thought he had COVID because, like, those are the COVID symptoms. Okay, yeah, I guess that's yeah, fair. Yeah, okay, yeah. So I was like, just to be on the safe side, I and can't get sick for whatever yeah. reason. I, I have finals week next week. I yeah. can't risk it. And yeah, I told yeah. you I didn't have COVID, so, I mean, we were all well, okay. spaghetti in that. That's fair, so. I guess. But all right, well, so we're back. Yeah. We're all healthy. We're good. For now. For now. We're going to talk about something that's not healthy, something you guys may have heard of. In the news recently, and it's and it's pretty shitty the situation. Yeah, yeah. Shit. hide your bed. covers, hide and your beds, the bed. and the bed, bro. Oh my god! You know, they, they, next time there's something this bad happening on the news, they should give it like an alert. I think they should call it like the Amber Alert. That'd be the perfect name for it. For those who don't know, Pirates of Caribbean is not going to be continuing any longer because no. Johnny Depp. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bad news. Yeah, yeah. It's, this has been going on for so, years. For years. So, yeah, so. Not two years. When they were like 2014, 2016, or that's when it's supposed to happen. Yeah. So should we go? Th- should we do the backstory first? All right. You go ahead. You go ahead because you right. know way more about this. So than they, I do. so Amber Heard and Johnny Depp were on a film together, and they married, uh, f- engaged, dating 2013, and then they 24 between 2014 and 2016 is when the alleged abuse happened. They got divorced in 2016, I believe 2017, and then Amber Heard comes out on a Washington Post. Um, 
and says that she is in a, a survivor of sexual abuse from her. She does not, this is the thing though, she does not mention Johnny Depp's name. Johnny Depp was the only person, last person she was with. With, with and she talks about the cup, the two years prior, which were then we were then, I mean, dating. This is obviously Johnny Depp she's talking about. Right. Mm-hmm. So this has come up, and then people are saying, like, oh, Johnny Depp's a wife here. He starts losing his jobs. No one wants to hire him anymore. Fucking um, heard. And so everyone, a lot of people were on both sides until, I mean, on her side, until many allegations started coming up about it's not Johnny that was being abusive. It was actually Amber being abusive. And this lasted from 2018 to um, in 2021 where they went. She he went to the U.K. court to get a trial, which is this trial the, for the defamation. So right. it's basically – so he won that trial last year, and now we're at this trial. And now he is suing her for fifty million dollars, and she is counter suing, of course, for double that, a hundred million dollars. This, not a lot of people knew it was happening. Um, this st- tomorrow, which is Monday, will be the start of the third week. So once this week is up, we'll be halfway there. It's about a six-week trial. Right. Um, at the first week, it didn't get a lot of traction, but I've been noticing after this last week, a lot of people have been mm-hmm. getting around this, which is good. This, so. I mean, we talked about this early on in the podcast. We did not support Amber Heard no matter what. Yeah, back when we still had, like, the table here, that's when we talked about it. Yeah, we were talking about that. Like, we did not support her, and I still stand by that because, um, especially this past last week, Mm -hmm. um, Johnny took the stand, and I think he's still taking the stand this week, um, and recordings came out. He talked about how he found human feces in her in his bed which were not human <laughs> to, to be continued on that we'll get to that yeah when but we talk like about this the and then and there's just so many things wrong with amber heard and like and and so there's just so much to unpack in this this episode if i'm not mistaken will probably be a lot to talk about this because i remember like in the beginning when we did mention this we didn't want to talk about it for a long time mm-hmm. yeah but now we Definitely do because this. If he obviously no one's gonna go to jail for this, but like this, but like whoever wins this, hopefully, if Johnny wins this, Hollywood will take him back hopefully. and start. I mean, I mean, I because th- I don't think he's has been in a movie in a while. I think he was in a movie in twenty twenty one. Yeah, I remember that came out. when this started getting big. A lot of people, you know, a lot of companies were starting to say that like they're not gonna be working with Johnny Depp he and was, things like that he because. Got fired. And, you know, nothing was set in stone, but because there were allegations of something that was a serious nature, they were like, all right, we don't want to, you know, kind of burn our reputation. Yeah. You know, so the, for, on the safer side, which is what people do, yeah. not just companies, a lot of people do that. Yeah. And so, like, Disney, I remember Disney, like, um, didn't technically fire him. He, they technically fired him before the, the, the post came out, but that was because there was already been talks about... Um, how he abused Amber Heard and stuff like that. So Disney already cut ties with him before the actual paper was written, um, and then he got he's lost his part as Grindelwald in the Fantastic mm-hmm. Beasts movie, the Harry Potter spinoff, yep. because of that. And all this is happening. Amber Heard is lolly dolly da yep. in Aquaman, starring in Aquaman, and Jason Momoa. So it follows Johnny Depp too and it supports him too, which is pretty funny. So. Yeah, it's but. kind of funny. I remember there was like a video last year of him showing his support yes. for Johnny Depp and not as, the as person as, that he did a movie with. Is that really the only? Mo- Sorry, real quick. Is that the only movie she's known for? And- she's known for that. She was known for the movie that she started with uh, with uh, Johnny. Um, I mean, that's basically oh the one from like 2011. Yeah, that's something? basically okay. all that she's known for. She probably does a lot of other things, but. Anyway, so I have been following this the most. Uh, I mean, I showed Nikki a lot of the vi- few of the videos. Miguel, what have you been viewing I've, this? I've been seeing like all the snippets of like Johnny testifying mm. on on the stand. That's all I've been seeing. Um, you know, just like all like the stupid questions they're asking God, him, and yeah, like all the, like oh, uh, objection, Your Honor. <laughs> objection, <laughs> yeah, like the. His lawyer wanted to show photographs or show a photograph of the, you know, the fecal matter that was on the bed. And he was like, objection. <laughs> it's like the fucking judge was like, it's a photo. I'll allow it. <laughs> and, but the judge also has a little like I've been seeing bits and pieces of the live stream and like the videos and like the the judge. A lot of people are seeing is biased like she. But I'm not I don't want to say that. But like it's d- biased Amber towards who? Amber. She's more towards Amber because she's a woman, of course. Um, but I mean. <laughs> But Amber Heard's defense team, let me tell you, I have not seen 
I think I've laughed more <laughs> watching their qu- listening to what the questions they're asking than anyone else because obviously Johnny's defense team talked about you know they brought up the things about the recordings and in the recordings um, that Johnny secretly recorded Amber heard. 100% admits to abusing Johnny mm-hmm. and and she and in the and you can hear her like taunting him and like mentally abusing him and stuff like that like Yeah, when we watched the video in the audio she was saying stuff like uh, she what I forget what she said exactly like, but she was baby, saying something along the lines baby. like you're a baby I I didn't punch you I hit you so she literally admits even yeah. though whether feels a hit or a punch yeah. she literally admits that like she physically assaulted them and i think she even says like yeah i started the physical fight yeah. or i started the physical altercation she's literally admitting but, but, it right there and like she, i and, did it and she like and badgers him about like going into another room to not start an argument because that's what he would do he would go into it like hide in the bathroom away from her and then she would come pounding on the door um right. and then that's the the fo- the video i showed you like how she opened the door he was taking a shower, and she slammed the door into his nose and then cracked a punch to his jaw. And then there was also things of how he lost his finger. Um, she actually threw a vodka bottle at it, and it severed his middle finger. Um, he originally, in a text message, told his doctor that he cut it off his own finger because he didn't want to, I believe in the video, I don't think I showed you this part, but like in the video he said that he didn't want to throw blame at Amber because at, I've obviously, I don't think any of us, thankfully, have never been in, in an abusive relationship or, Thankfully, or no. domestic, thank God. But a lot of times abusers will stand up, or the people who are being abused will stand up for their abuser, and that's what yeah. he was doing, basically. Part of the, honey, the honeymoon cycle. Yeah. The questions that her defense were asking, so he, on the stand, is admitting to obviously doing drugs, cocaine, like all, mm-hmm. all the stuff. But that's all they're asking him to do. They're all they're asking like to ju- they're what they're trying to do is to sway the jury that he does all this drinking, all this alcohol, um, all these drugs, and that he is an abusive person. And he has admitted that he has problems, that he m- could have been an alcoholic, that he took a break from it, that he does have a drinking problem. But um, and they even said the defense team is like you've you've hit a door, you've you've hit a wall, right? And I go, yeah, I've hit a wall. And then people are in the comments like hitting a wall is different from hitting a person. Like yeah. it's 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 you take your anger out differently. They're just trying to like break him and like the the defense team for Amber Heard like is interrupting him and like stuff like that. They're not Objection. being. And recently, so in 2016, Amber Heard when she came out with. You know the bruise that was the big the big photo thing. That's when the the things came out. That's probably why Disney also cut ties with him. But like in 2016, she came out with bruises and stuff like that. And then I um a lot of people eyewitnesses, especially Johnny's friend who's testified this thing. I think like in the first week, throughout the week he did not see any bruises on her. And he lived with this. So they had like a penthouse and like all mm-hmm. these different people lived there. And he would see her a lot. And he would know if you know you've lived with someone for like three years, you would know if they're wearing makeup or not. Let's be honest. Right. And so he would know if she's not wearing makeup. He was close to her. Um, and even and even girls were commenting saying like makeup doesn't really cover bruises that well so and then the defense team for Amber Heard was like so you so you never saw her put on makeup and he goes no so he goes so you don't know if she was wearing makeup or not and he goes well I could tell he goes but you never saw her put on makeup and I go and and then they came out with the product that Amber Heard is specifically <laughs> specific, specifically <laughs> used what the hell is he doing he is <laughs> All I just saw Lee. was this kid just Nikki Lee, just Lee, <laughs> leave Jicky alone. Jicky alone. I'm, I'm thirsty, bro. This, bro. Is, this is a very yeah. He wants some jotter. Jotter. I need some water, bro, because this is a jotter. I don't know. Go yeah. on. I'm, I can't think of a stupid joke. So, anyways, the woman on Amber Heard's defense team, I do not like her. She is literally a, the basic Karen. Pulled out a little palette of makeup, um, and said, "This is what Amber Heard used. This is what she was carrying in 2016." Lies. Objection. Yes, because re- no, because recent no one knew this in the court, and unfortunately, the jury will never find this out because they can't use the internet. They can't. They, they can't use anything. They can't use the news. Um, the company that made that officially came out and said that product never came out until 2017. Hmm. So their defense team literally lied on the stand about this Perjury. project of uh, this product that Amber Heard supposedly used to cover makeup uh, to co- to use the makeup to cover the bruises. I, I'm not a lawyer, but like if they side with Amber and that piece of evidence comes out after, could they retrial for that? Cuz technically that's lying under oath. 
Well, here's so here's the thing. No one. So once the jury, so once the day ends, they cannot use the internet. No one can use the. Obviously, some people are going to use the internet, but like they can't look at the news and stuff like that. You know, um, which actually happened with one of Amber Heard's um, witnesses. Um, so Amber Heard like has all of her comments blocked. Only like literally two people can comment on them, and one of them yeah. is a woman called Eve or Eva, and she took the stand. And they had to cut her off because, you know, there wasn't enough time. So she came back the next day. And then she started talking about – she switched up her story and added different names. And so the judge excused the jury. And she was like, have you been on the internet um, as we asked you not to? She goes, well, yeah, of course I have. Like she – and she yeah. like – and so that witness is excused. They can't use that information right. anymore. So right. – um, and the thing with like a jury is like they all have to be yeah. completely one hundred percent. That's where the whole beyond yeah. a reasonable doubt yeah. is. So like if a jury, how many is in like a regular jury? Twelve. Twelve. Usually. 12, 12 yeah. yeah. So it's like if they all find someone guilty, but then there's one person who finds them not guilty. That's a hung jury. They got to yeah. do it again. Yeah. But like the jury, the, what I love about this is the jury that's stuck in their minds. The jury, the um, something was said about the witness for Amber Heard. And they had to be excused. Obviously, they're thinking, why did they have to be excused? So that's probably in their brains as it's, maybe it's not a credible witness. But, I mean, there's a lot going on. But, like, what are, you, what are, you, what are your thoughts, Nikki? My thought is f- – oh, oh. oh. you asked Nikki. Oh, first, <laughs> no. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah, thanks. Jicky. So Jicky. <laughs> Jicky will give his opinions All on right, it first. Then, so, Jicky, then Jicky, Can I put context for the Jicky? Yeah. Yeah, go, yeah. go crazy. So, so, basically, I was playing Lego Star Wars. <laughs> and, as, and for my Star Wars fans – Obviously, you know what a Jawa is. For my non-Star Wars fans, a Jawa is like... Houdini! Yeah. They basically, they're like... <laughs> Look at him fucking dying laughing. There's like this alien species, and um, they're called the Jawa. And in the game, they all have like names, like regular names that start with J. What are you doing? Like, like Timothy, Gerald. And then there's just been a running joke between me and Gion. <laughs> Gion. Yeah. <laughs> We're just putting J in front of everyone's name. Yeah. <laughs> Mine Miguel, doesn't do anything different. Jiggy. What, what are you playing? No, no keep, just keep keep talking. Just, okay, uh, keep, I mean, picture that's it. Uh, Please keep talking. I have an ad. <laughs> so like Jicky, Jagel, uh, Jom, like like just Jom. everyone. My name doesn't affect because I my yeah. name already <coughs> sounds like a loser. Yep, <laughs> Jomis. <James. laughs> Jomis. Jomis. Um, okay, all right. So what are you trying to find? So just imagine, right? Oh God. The opening of the court. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case. All the lights are off. And also at the start of the court, all you hear is... <laughs> copyright, copyright, copyright! And then, and then you see the text going up diagonally. Like, last time, Johnny Depp said he saw fecal matter from a photo on his bed. Yo. That's some shit. Yo, that's Jamber Heard. Jamber Heard! I'm sorry. Okay. Jamber Jerd. Uh, this is a very Johnny serious Je- thing, Johnny guys. Jeff. How could you be laughing about something Honestly. like this? Honestly, okay. but, but you, go ahead. so my my uh, well, I will say, as messed up as it is, I obviously feel for Johnny Depp because it looks like pretty strong evidence that Amber Heard, you know, is the one who's guilty here. You know, especially with the audio clips, with the the photo of mm. the dookie on the bed. Mm-hmm. I, I I will say it does look like more likely that Amber Heard is the one who's been the abuser. You know, and I'm not saying Johnny Depp was perfect. You know, I yeah. I would say real quick if he even openly admitted to. He would punch a wall, get mad. You know, he has a violent temper. I would say that means he's in control. Because yeah. a lot of people who have, like, an uncontrollable violent temper, they're going to sock that person yeah. right then and there. Like, the fact that he was able to get up, walk away, and punch a wall, you know, rest in peace that wall, but at least he didn't hit a person. So that's yeah. good. I think he's got control with that. Um, maybe this is me being an asshole, but I just couldn't help but kind of, like, not cringe, but kind of just think, of, you know, interesting. Like, when they were talking on the... Stan, when Johnny Depp was like, all right, what did you do? He was like, so we have three penthouses, right, you know? So when we got into a fight, I just went over into my other penthouse. I'm like, God, must be nice, huh? <laughs> well, yeah. he's just a fucking millionaire. Three, 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 no, I, I get he's a famous actor, probably worth a billion dollars, but I'm just thinking, like, you know, some oh, people yeah. don't have the luxury of that. They have to either they, go in they, their car, Nikki go to their like, friend Josh's house who lives in an apartment up in 22B. Just, I mean, again, we're all human at the end of the day, obviously. Nikki would be There's, like, yeah, let me go to my other room. <laughs> Well, well, that would uh, Johnny would also do that. He wouldn't go to it like if he. No, he would go I mean to it. that's just me being yeah. a dick. But I'm just saying, like, just couldn't help but notice. I, you know, it must be nice. Yeah, that. It must be nice. Yeah. Anyways, other than that, I mean, at the end of the day, he's still a human being. So yeah. obviously, it doesn't matter how rich you are. You're still gonna have feelings. You're gonna have emotions. Shit like this is gonna bother you. So, yeah. um, I, th- I don't want to be a predictor here, but I think the outcome is. Well, then again, you said that that judge is 
But well, well, more we, well, biased. Well, it's a, Seems more biased. Well, it doesn't matter because it's up to the jury. It's up to the jury. That is true. Matter. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, it's not a. I feel what the, I feel what the kind of court yeah. is called. Where it's like you have the judge decide. You don't choose the jury. I forget what the name of that is, but that's an option people do sometimes if they don't trust the public. But I think the public, especially with all like the news going mm-hmm. on, I but think they which can't is every the news. Yeah. I know, but I, I mean realistically, bro, do you know how hard it is to keep this thing hush hushed? It's everywhere. You know how hard it was to probably find people for this jury. Because I'm pretty sure most people know who Johnny Depp is. Most people, yeah. Like, he's been a household name since, like, the, the early late, 2000s. 90s, at least. Not 90s, so it's... Must have been, that must have been a challenge right there in and of itself. But I do think that... I think Johnny Depp will win this case. Yeah. And I hope so, too. My I'm, question is, you know, he's, he's already got all the money as it is. Do you think if he sues her for $50 million, do you think he's going to donate that to, like, maybe, like... Maybe people, like, a domestic abuse foundation I mean, or uh, I wouldn't something uh, like that? I, be, I think it'd be a good idea. I mean, to it's, like you know, at, I don't know. At the end of the day, that I mean, that that's up to him. I mean, it's he's already because if he definitely loses this, he's losing a big chunk of money anyways, like a hundred million dollars for an actor is like, oh fuck. I mean, yeah, that me. could be like half his savings or half his like savings right there. Probably but, even but, like less. I mean, he'll, he'll be all right by the end of that, but it's just like yeah. more of defamation of character. Yeah. They find him guilty. And like, but yeah. So, well, actually, even then, I think most people know he's. He's the one on the right here. Yeah. Amber Heard was the abuser. Yeah. Like a lot, of, especially a lot of people in the public. And like you said, like the jury, like most of them, I, I'm pretty sure. Let, let's say like they, they even try to get like a few people who if don't watch movies or, you know, so, or like don't are not a big thing. There are at least at least have to be like half of them that know who Johnny Depp is and stuff like that. Um, and so that would obviously be hard. But I'm afraid that if he does win this, they're going to. Amber Heard's going to counter and try to get another trial up for some fucking reason. Yeah. Because what he's doing, he's he's trying to um, the defamation of the um, the paper and clear his name because he even said it in like it's been so hard for his kids to like. He even talked about how his kids went to school and like they would show their his kids, other kids would show the People magazine the cover of Amber Heard's bruise and be like, "Oh, your dad's like a beater and stuff like that." And like they would like manipulate his like his kids would be tormented in school, and he wants to. He even openly said that he wants to fix this for them too, like especially yeah. when they were like, or like you know coming up to them and stuff like that. Like I know his kids are older, but like when this stuff did happen, like and even towards him, like some people, um, there like, some people like the. Two percent that believe in Amber Heard, like I, I don't even like, I, I don't even know like I, what I, goes on through their heads. I think, I think most, I think the only people who really are on Amber Heard's side is like her like other rich white female friends, yes. probably. Yeah, yeah. Her assistant was one of the um, the witnesses, and she said like, oh, how Amber Heard spit in her face and stuff like that. Nice girl. So, nice yeah. Girl. So, um, I know Amber Heard is a um. Is a piece of work. She, mm-hmm. yeah. Until she's found guilty, let's not officially say anything. Oh, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we know she's. We don't want to be sued innocent for until proven you know, guilty. Obviously, yes. She's yes. gonna sue three twenty-two year old. Oh, soon to be twenty-two. <sighs> uh, you know, from freaking Rhode Island. Like, oh, how dare they say that I but smell like cheese? There's <laughs> definitely a lot more people talking more shit about her than us. Oh, that's, go- that's oh god, sure. yeah. True. But um, but like, what's funny is like during that, like she. It was talked about like a lot of people were thinking like you know Elon Musk and James Franco were gonna be were gonna be one of the key witnesses. I don't know that for a one hundred percent fact, um, because she like I think cheated on there was he confronted her about cheating on him with James Franco and I think at the time Elon Musk, um, so that's why that Crazy. yeah that's why um he was doing that and like the defense team like are only like like i said they're only bringing up stuff about him doing co- like they were talking about like paul bettany the guy who plays vision like he mm-hmm, would do yeah. cocaine with them and like they were like, like stuff like that so like they were just only like bring up stuff like when they brought up text they wouldn't bring the context of the text beforehand they would only bring the snippet right and that's what i hate about sometimes they will only they won't bring the context like i could say something about somebody but the context beforehand is the key thing, like, right. and that's what um, they're trying to persuade the jury with. That's what they're that I, I've I've known a lot of like crime cases, like I've seen like the big ones. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to like s- picture Johnny Depp as this alcoholic drug abuser who has a um. They bring up his past a lot, like how his mom abused him and stuff like that. Um, and so like they're they're bringing all this stuff up and like. That's all they have against him. They don't have any evidence of him saying anything. They don't have any evidence of um, 
him hitting her like they don't have any of that evidence the only evidence they have is when he would call her a um the c word. i don't want to say it on because it's on youtube the c word um but the oh chicken yeah that one to see you next tuesday they would they don't want to say that but that was after the fact of everything that she did that was like in october i mean i would say some mean things to someone if you know they were doing shitty things to me I mean, just saying i don't care if you're a man or woman if you try to physically attack me it's on site I'm, <laughs> I'm i'm fighting i'm punching you back i don't <laughs> fucking care just like it's one thing if it's like a little like slap like eric whatever but like if you're like no, actually punching you would me, still fight back <laughs> nah <laughs> yeah you would He's got the Mike Tyson but moves. Another thing I want to mention is how... The mentality of John Lennon. I don't know if you guys have John noticed Disney. this, but like how Amber is literally copying Johnny Depp very subtly mm -hmm. in the courtroom. Yeah, we talked about this when we went to go pick up a Papa John's pizza. That's what we should... No, I'm kidding. Yeah, Papa yeah. John's. It wasn't that good. It was like a 6.5 yeah, out of 10. Six. But like, so since day one, she's been mirroring like... You know, obviously, if you if a woman wants to dress in a suit, obviously you can't blame her. But like the the color, one time she wore gray. The the next day she wore, uh, sorry, she what? on her tie on Johnny Depp's tie he had like a little bug. The next day she wore the exact same bug on her tie. And she's bugging her that he had better design than her. And then what really stood out to me is that ever since he was on the stand, because obviously he's almost sixty, he can't fucking read, so he takes out his glasses every now and then to do that. The third day that he's on the stand doing that, Amber Heard has not used her glasses to look at the computer for the two weeks. She pulls out the exact, almost identical, the exact same glasses and does this and looks at Johnny. Like, she's still trying to, like, torment him. And, like, someone's car. And I feel like every time for the last few months we've recorded an episode, someone's car alarm just goes off. So it happens, happens all outside. the time. Something Sorry. Happens. So what's the psychology behind that? Like, oh, for an abuser to do that? Like, yeah, that's to, so like, like, to manipulate them yeah, and to, like, like to, 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 to show that I'm still... That's, the, that's just too much effort. That's to, yeah. A lot of abusers, obviously, you can't say it for that, but a lot of abusers, I see in the YouTube comments say, like, what she's doing is she's manipulating him and showing him that she's still the dominant one and that she's right. still the one that's on top. Right. And like, and you can like, she, I love it how like, she's always looking at Johnny and in the camera, she looks like she's about to cry. And then I showed you the one clip. She talks her lawyer, smirks and then goes straight yeah, back she, into she being like, sad because she realizes she's still on camera. Yeah. And like Johnny hasn't like, obviously they're both actors, so you can't say, but like he hasn't cried. He hasn't like shown like he, he's, he feels nervous. And a lot of people are like, oh, he's an acting, he's acting but a lot of people who have been in abusive relationships say like he's in an he's in a room with an abuser he's nervous as hell and he even came out saying like this is like the first time he's ever spokenly spoke about this in six years so obviously he's going to be nervous and like and you know mess up a sentence or two right yeah so, and it's just natural you know but yeah that's why she's doing that to like manipulate him and to show him to show him that i'm still the dominant one and that that's what abusers unfortunately do i feel mainly bad for does amber heard have kids I I, yeah, she does. She has like a two-year-old. Yeah, think. I feel. Like, on her I feel Instagram, bad. I see it. I feel bad for that kid. I feel bad for all of Johnny Depp's kids. Like, because yeah. like you, an example, people are going up to him, and people's magazines are like, "Look, your dad's yeah. an abuser." Like, <laughs> that's kind of like, that? that's, yeah, that's, that sucks, that's bro. yeah, that's kind of because that's not something those kids can control. Yeah, like what their f parents or what their dad or mom is doing, they have no control over that. Yeah. And on top of that. I think we talked about a topic like this similar. It, it sucks when not only your parents or whatever are fighting, but the whole world knows about it. We talk about like the Will Smith thing, where yeah. it's like there's problems going on with your mom and dad or family, and then like not only that, but like millions of, of people around the world know about this. No, I see it. Uh, I just wanted yeah. to see who the father was. Um. Oh, I don't know. It's not Johnny. No. No. Um. Oh well, who knows? It was through <laughs> surrogate. So. So. Crazy. Um, but yeah, like, and like the biggest thing, like Amber Heard, like, uh, silenced all of her comments on Instagram. Like, no one can comment on, on that shit. Like, and like this whole thing, like, obviously we Johnny Depp is not a. Per he even said he's not a perfect person. He has, he's, you know, he's was an al. He admits to being an alcoholic. He admits to doing drugs and like having emotional tampers and stuff like that. And but he even said he has never once hit a woman, and that stands by that. And hopefully, like, I mean. Hopefully in three weeks, the jury will come to a decision that, like, they see who in the wrong here is. Um, and even on uh, Amber, her, I look at her Instagram, and her last post was talking about um, how she's going into court. And I'll read it, what it says. 
She goes, I'm going to go offline for the next several weeks. As you may know, I'll be in Virginia where I'll face my ex-husband, Johnny Depp, and court. Johnny is suing me for an op-ed I wrote in the Washington Post in which I encountered my experience of violence and domestic abuse. I never named him. Rather, I wrote a piece about the price women pay for speaking out against men in power. I continue to pay that price, but hopefully when this case concludes, I can move on and so can Johnny. I've always maintained a love for Johnny that brings me great pain, blah, blah, blah. Mm, my ass. And like, there's only four comments because she limited it. <laughs> so Because she knows she would be getting absolutely flamed. Yeah. It would be a volcano in those like, comments. So it'd be Pompey just... And you know what yeah. the best thing about this is? Johnny Depp's ex-wife and his other ex-wife, um, uh, Winona Ryder, um, who was famous for like uh, uh, Edward Scissorhands, she's in Stranger Things, um, a lot of like Tim Burton things. Mm-hmm. Um, like they support him. Like like if your exes support you, yeah, there's a problem. Like I and I would say like that because usually one time with an abuser, it's usually never their first time. Yeah, so like if Johnny Depp was actually physically abusing her and doing things like that well, as soon as amber heard came out her his exes would feel more empowered to tell their yeah. stories like if he physically abused them or hit them yeah. but the fact that not as any one of his other exes girlfriends wives nope. whatever are coming nope. out and saying that he abused them kind of makes amber heard look like oh, i don't know you may be lying I don't, I'm, I'm no judge lawyer policeman or politician but i'll tell you one thing amber heard may be guilty I think so too. I have thought that ever since it came out. I'm like Johnny Depp would never. <laughs> Fuck. Land on its side. What? Land it on its side. Keep All talking. All right. Um, I mean, we could go. I could go on long about this. I mean, we still have almost a full three weeks left. So I, I will be protesting the second Aquaman movie. Oh no, I'm never seeing that. Fuck that yeah, shit. I'm not seeing that like, movie. Like, and you know what's funny? Like Warner Bros. Like the the president said, like, oh, Amber Heard had conflicts with the uh, one of the co-stars, Jason Momoa. Like that's why they shoot. They were um, that's why she was originally not going to star in the movie only because of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. That's the case, and not the court case. And it's funny because Jason. It's just funny how Jason Momoa sides with Johnny Depp too. I think that's that's hilarious. Mm. And so, and it's it's the Jason Momoa might just be the Rock, but with hair. <laughs> I don't know. Is he as tall as him? The seaweed. <laughs> and it's you know what's actually uh, obviously because this is Hollywood, and a lot of people are paid not to say this. But a lot of talk shows have not talked about this too, mm. which is, you know, I I don't think, like. Unless they are, haven't, I just haven't seen it yet. Are they allowed to? I mean, they can talk about the fucking, like, uh, Republicans, Democrats, all they want. I mean, like, I I, uh, I, I haven't I seen... I don't think I've seen any talk show hosts talk about politics right. recently. Oh. Well, I mean, recently something happened, but I mean, I, like... I mean, they're always going to talk about, like, oh, here's something Trump did two years ago, because yeah. that still matters, or this shit going on in Ukraine, or... Biden signing this or well, whatever. Well, they they recently came up because um I forget that senator um he was in Borat too and he was secretly filmed about almost having s- sex oh, with the fifteen um, year old but she wasn't really fifteen she was an actress like twenty two Borat too. Uh, I've not caught. seen that yet. I want to uh, see that. Ju- Giuliani. Yeah, something R. It starts. For, Rudy Giuliani. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. was caught. So he was in the film. Obviously, the girl portrays as a twenty two. She's twenty two, but she's portrayed as a fifteen year old and he was secretly filmed like a hidden camera. He was about to have sex with her, knowing she was 15 years old. And when on Mass Singer, he was revealed as the Mass Singer. And Ken Jong, uh, the guy who is in The Hangover, he he saw her as the he saw him as the Mass Singer, and he goes, "Oh, I'm I'm done." And he literally walked off the fucking thing while th- this happened. And people were like, "Oh, no, he's like a." He's a Democrat. You know, he doesn't believe. It. Everyone like politics just ran through, and then a few people were like, "Bro, I don't think that's the only reason why. I think it's a few other reasons why he walked off." Um, so, but that was like the recent thing that politics. Have, I mean, talk shows have been talking about, but I didn't even know anything about yeah, that. I, didn't know. I, I really. Yeah, do I'll, not watch, I'll show you the clip afterwards. I really um, do not care for major news outlets. I like local news. They're not as yeah uh, biased. They're pretty good with like keeping it straightforward, at least over here. But I. No, I do not like politics, talking about Me politics. I because people nowadays really can't seem to get the concept of differing opinions. Yes, and honestly, yes, and, and like, we're going to leave it at that. We're going to leave it at that. Yeah, we're going to leave it at yeah. that. That's good. So, but um, anything else you want to talk about with the uh, this Johnny Depp thing? I mean, we'll probably talk about it as the weeks progress. I think, I think as the court case goes along, we'll get more in-depth about it. Yeah, all right. But 
as as you hear from us, we stand with Johnny Depp. Justice for Johnny Depp. You know what? Um, you know what? No one can. A lot of people can't run away from a lot of things, even oh, if they're the fastest man about, on earth. I know nothing about Hawaii. this. So I'm just gonna, and on Hawaii. <laughs> I know nothing about this. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a nap right. for the next five minutes, and you guys can so, talk about it. Wait, wait, wait. Can I talk about? Can I start with the meme that I saw? Sure. It was like. <laughs> it was like um. Um, Flash, I don't want to fight you. It's like, I don't want to fight me either. Yes, yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. <laughs> and then there was another one. You are more statistically <laughs> to get attacked by Ezra Miller than a shark. Yeah. That's crazy. So anyways, if you don't know Ezra Miller, who I actually just today found out that he goes by they and them. Mm-hmm. Um, did not know that. Um, now it, it occurs to me why he dresses the way he does, but um, that's not important, so it doesn't matter about that. What matters is that he... About a week ago, I think, he assaulted a woman in Hawaii. A he couple, was, I think it was. A couple. I think it was a couple both times. Yeah. And then he was arrested, released, obviously. Um, and then not even a week later, he did the exact same thing mm-hmm. and got released. And then someone videotaped him at a party. So now, uh, obviously, I there's a lot of... I, I think Ezra Miller is a... Gr- good actor i've seen him in a lot of good movies other than the flash that i do respect him for um obviously as a person right now he's not winning me over so i mean what do you so i mean a lot of people are saying flash like, jesus mm. fucking ah, savior of the universe dun, 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 dun. Ezra Miller. that happened recently and you know the hawaii 5 you know just, hawaii is getting the <laughs> no, actually, there was a meme with like an old lady, like like um, Ezra Miller, after um, he gets released from like Hawaii, and, and the, it's someone in Hawaii is just like, oh, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> they already had that false nuclear threat like two years ago. Or yeah, I fuck. remember that. Now they got the Ezra Miller really? threat. They got the flash. <laughs> so, so if we want to talk about like they got pe- a flash warning, <laughs> people abusing people. This man is just attacking women. Why? I don't know. People like obviously like. I don't know if I think one of them didn't he throw a chair at one point? I think so. I like as a all right. Um <laughs> right, the, disorderly conduct and harassment in Hilo Hilo Hawaii. However it's pronounced. Like it just came out of nowhere, like holy shit. Like a lot of people like before like he like attacked someone like the first time it yeah. came out, like a lot of people like realized like there might have been something wrong with him. I don't know. I don't know if it was like on set like trouble or something like that. Um but then this stuff happens twice in a matter of like a, a week, and like, the, can he not like, can, what what is his problem? <laughs> okay, so the first time he was arrested because he was he was at a like a bar. Yeah. And um, they were singing karaoke, and I don't know. Mm. He just got mad out of nowhere. Maybe he was drunk or something. <laughs> yeah, people said no he might have been drunk. <laughs> Wait, what? I guess the second time <laughs> you were right. He threw a chair at a woman, and it um it, it struck her in the forehead. <laughs> I so. I don't get like why you get arrested. Don't do it again. Like what? The, don't I don't. I don't he, know. he thinks he's actually the Flash. You think he can actually <laughs> run away from the cops? Well, he did this, and then when he got released the second time, someone recorded a video of him at like an event talking to people. Like nothing happened. Like it. Just kind of how I actually. I probably figured like, oh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get out of this. I have money. Honestly, which I honestly now I'm losing respect for. Him. I, I he's a great actor. I do agree with that. But other than that, well, well, well all right. Well, how long have we been gone? About forty minutes. Now okay. let me, let's talk about something that's actually important. What's what's that? I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you all about something. So, Papa John. Oh, what what when, <laughs> when do you think there's gonna be a time in our life where we're gonna be able to afford? Oh, Capital Grill. Never. So, well, explain to the audience if from the if they're not from Rhode Island. Yeah. So Capital Grill is. basically, Capital Grill is I think probably one of the most, if not the most expensive restaurant in Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. Definitely up there. It's I think it's more expensive than just about any restaurant on Federal Hill, which is in Providence. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. And basically. Yesterday, me and Gian, right, we're sitting there. He slept over. We're eating donuts and yes. bananas mm-hmm. for breakfast. And, bananas. and we're just like, we, we, we were talking about like um, about my dad last weekend at my birthday party. He said he was. He said as a joke, he was going to take me to Capitol Grill for my birthday. And you know, that's like kind of like the joke where it's like, all right, you need an arm, leg, other arm, other leg, and a torso to go there. And we were like, you know, let's actually take a look. How expensive is it? We've never actually looked at the menu before, mm-hmm. and we were taking a look. So I want to go on ahead. With y'all listening and y'all watching. Y'all? We're, are we from we're, the we're, South? We're gonna, yeah. You, you notice now I say y'all? I say y'all all the time. Well, y'all. You said y'all like th- three times in a row. Y'all, 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 y'all. y'all, y'all yonder. Y'all. So we're, we're going we're gonna to start with the Capital Drill. appetizers and soups for Capital Grill. So New England clam chowder starting 
at ten dollars starting. Okay, so ten dollars, not, not bad, not All bad. Right, so far, we're great. Okay, mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. They have a lot of sections, so I'll just do one entree from each section. Okay. So that was Thank entrees, salads, and sandwiches. Let's see, what's the most expensive one here? Twenty-eight bucks for a main lobster salad with okay. citrus vinaigrette. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, especially considering it's lobster. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now we go to actual plates, or entrees. Excuse me. Entrees, most expensive one, thirty-five bucks for boneless prime ribeye, four, fourteen that's ounces. That's not bad. Right. Yeah, not bad. No, reasonable, reasonable, yeah, not bad. Well. All right, now we go to dinner appetizers. Let's see here. Most expensive one here. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> hit, hit, hit him with it. So, hit him with it, boy. I'm looking at these. Some are 19, 21 bucks, 23 bucks, yeah. 18 bucks, 115 bucks, 55 bucks. You know, so nothing way, out of the way, ordinary. Way, way, way. I think we need so, to go way back. Go back, back, back up a bit. Grand up. Plateau, 115 bucks, which... <sighs> It's jumbo lump crab, North Atlantic lobster, shrimp cocktail, and oysters on the half shell. Okay, well, now, that's 115 bucks. For now, I even said it yesterday. For a lot of seafood, that's yeah, actually not bad. Right, but I'm just still saying, if I'm paying 115 bucks for any meal, that better be an orgasmic tongue experience. I feel like that's more like a like a like a for the table kind of. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't be something that like you just do. Um, more so soups and we'll salads. We'll, we'll give it like a half pass that one. Okay. All right. half. Chef's suggestions. Oh boy, so. this one killed me. This one actually destroyed me. Oh no, me. no, no, not this. Not, oh. We're not there yet. Oh. <laughs> Sixty-two bucks for <gasps> porcini rubbed bone in ribeye with. Ready? Here's the catch: fifteen-year aged balsamic. Okay, so maybe Damn. the fifteen-year age so gives it an extra thirty bucks. Age of consent in Capital Grill Land is fifteen, <laughs> and that's when you start getting oh, pricey. Boy. So, okay. all right, now we get to main courses. Oh, no, we're not there yet. Main courses, let's see. This 59 bucks for a bone and ribeye, 22 ounces. All okay. Right, okay. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad for bad. a very expensive restaurant. For the table, I guess this is just like, I don't know. Lobster mac and cheese, 21 bucks. I would take that. I would take that. Wine. <clears throat> oh, boy. So, if you go to a liquor store, right, you get a wine bottle. Maybe 20, 30 bucks. Capital Grill, let's see. If you want to get the Brewer Clifton Star Rita Hills... You're costing up uh, 82 schmuckaroos. 82. Schmuckaroos. For a thing. And that's just white wine. Red wine. Oh, I didn't even see the red wine option. That's even more expensive. 115 bucks for <laughs> Penner Ash Willamette Valley. That better be the I, best I have no idea what that is. I've ever had. That, the grape has to be from Italy, imported. Or aged. Like, it hasn't been opened in like 20 years. Like the kings in like nighttime like, have been drinking like, that. Traveled shit. through like traditional means, like chariot, <laughs> horse. Mm-hmm. And, and flown, no, not even flown, sailed by ship. All right, and then desserts are right, not too bad, 11, 12 bucks. All right, the Capital Butcher. Oh, Here boy. is the reason why Capital Grill gets the reputation for why it is capitally expensive. Capital. Bone and ribeye, 22 ounces. I'm going to read the description for it first. Steaks are cut daily by our in-house butcher daily. for cooking at daily. home. Each box features a gift of the Capital Grill signature steak sauce. Mm. One hundred and sixty dollars. Oh, if you didn't hear that, Crazy. not sixteen, six zero. Oh, six, one hundred and sixty bucks. And then it talks about steak sauce. If you want to get the steak sauce, that's an extra eight bucks. Bruh. You want sauce? Eight dollars. And then indi- individual burgers. You can you pay fifty dollars for an eight ounce burger. Eight ounces. It eight better ounce, be the best burger that's ever. A tasted blend of. Should we just rib? go one day just to try this a burger? burger? Just. That, Burger review at Capital Burger Grill. Review. Yeah, when's that happening? It's not gonna be a few months. <laughs> a few, he was gonna say a few years. <laughs> a few years. No, I, honest, I think it's more recently for a few years. years, bro. We're still waiting on that. Okay, it's eight ounces. That that will be the season finale. <laughs> 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 this is the real heart attack grill, bro. <laughs> Yo. A blend, so it's a blend of short rib, chuck, and brisket by Pat Lafrida for cooking at home, served with brioche rolls. It better be the best burger. Ever. Be- that better, better be like that. Better make Mark Wall Burger look like a pussy. 50 bucks for a lobster mac and cheese. What happened to 21 bucks? Damn, they must have. Cocktails are 15 bucks. Right. See, the cocktails, that's weird. And the then cocktails that's it. are fine. The cocktails. Co- 15 bucks, 20 bucks, that's reasonable for so a Some very of that menu was, wasn't too bad. Like, all right, 21 bucks for like, like a. The appetizers like, are right. that bad. It's, it's more like the meat and the like, wine. Yeah, and the wine. But like, like that I, has to be. There, there are there is like this Japanese steak that is like supposedly the best in the world and like the cheapest you could get it is it like two hundred at Costco. Jesus or some shit. Christ! But it there's a reason why it's the best. Yeah. Is it rare? Like, is it like hard to make? Yeah. Well, I mean, if to, you want to cook it rare, yeah, and but it, it's like, <laughs> like you can cook it yourself, but like it looks amazing, it tastes amazing. I've heard. 
and that's why it's it's the most one day like, one day we'll afford it one so day. so i'm i'm assuming like they have like like prime like prime. like a one top like presidential type steak you know not some shit you would get at like a fucking first class american airlines no this is like like air force one type steak <laughs> yo this is what the kings and queen eat. This, this is what fucking Queen Elizabeth eats on the daily. Yeah, before well, she had she has to have small portions because you know. <laughs> so it, it, if um, I'm just you know I want to try it for myself. See, yeah, like, one like, well one day I uh, I told Nikki one day well we'll go to Capital Grill and Capital Grill we'll, Burger. We'll rack up the menu to about a thousand dollars. I mean the 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 check to a thousand dollars and then we'll. Because I, I want to taste what a fifty dollar burger tastes. Yeah, like. fifty yeah. fucking. Do- I don't think I would even in my right mind would even think of a. F- the most expensive burger I think I've ever gotten at a restaurant had to be close to twenty bucks. That was it, uh, probably it. Like, I think the most expensive would probably be either probably the Abbey. Don't Abbey? Oh no, 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 Blackies. Blackies is probably the most expensive. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, they are kind of pricey, yeah. I guess. All, their like, food is really good though. Their 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 burgers are really yeah. good though. I'm just right. I'm on the website. I'm just looking at the Grand Plateau. 115 yeah. bucks. I'm gonna see how many it lets me order before it kicks me off the website. I'm at 98 right now. I'm at oh, 100. I don't. Maximum is 100. Okay, order it. Dine in only. Let's see what happens. It. Who's this item for? Me. me bitch. <laughs> Just one person. Me. me. Just say Johnny Depp. How do I? How do I add this? Dine in. Let me. Let me order. Nikki doesn't want you to. <laughs> It, it, it can smell my bank account from here. It's like you're not even close Imagine to reporting this. Imagine it just this. automatically like it goes through your apps and just like gets your bank account and just charges you. Yo. How, would you like actually die? <laughs> I, I would cry <laughs> and then die <laughs> and then ask why. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to blacklist this website off my phone <laughs> at least for a while. Yeah. That's, that, that's crazy. I, I can't afford that anytime <laughs> soon, bro. No one can. <laughs> bro, oh. They have valet. They're not even open yet. <laughs> They're one of those, oh, we open at five o'clock. Jesus. We're, not, we're, we're, we're too good to be open all day kind of type places have we ever passed it driving i don't think yeah we have yeah. well no we've yeah what do you mean i don't th- I, I forget it's like right next to the mall yeah it's... okay if okay so let's say we're coming from like gotta, thayer street right yeah if i'm taking a left and i'm going towards the highway we drive right by it's on the right hand yeah. side uh, it's right there okay. it's like all yeah right. it's on like the first floor and i think we were with you we were parked on the other side we were on that garage we were taking photos up on the top of that garage and like it was right across the street from capitol grill yes Mm. Yeah, yes. so it's, it's like right in like the center of downtown Providence. Oh. All right, a nice That's looking great. place. Yeah, I walked by it once. I looked in. There's all these like typical, you know. Yeah, do they dress rich like? Tiny? Yeah, you gotta have. Yeah, like, uh, they dress. Like, nice. I think that's like. Yeah, can't sure. you only go in with that? You can only go. Like in? you know the scene in the Dark Knight where like fucking Bruce Wayne and Harvey Dent are talking with their wives. It looks like that inside basically. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like that. And then he goes, "I'm about to buy this hotel or something like that." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someone buys the hotel. Yeah. yeah. No, no jeans. No you ripped know, jeans. No ripped jeans. We would be kicked out. E- we wouldn't even be able to walk by it. Yeah, we we would get blacklisted. Not even drive we, by it. It bro. would be like. Imagine tipping though. The, oh my god. Oh. Yeah, that's the thing too. You got to take into consideration. If you ordered, all right, the Grand Plateau. That's probably like the whole, you know, for the whole table. Yeah. But like the chef's choices or whatever, 160 bucks for something. You got to understand. Usually, if you're going to a restaurant that nice, you're not going by yourself. You're going to either take your wife out, maybe it's for like a company outing, maybe like some coworkers. Mm-hmm. You gotta understand that's just for one order. Then you have the wine if you're gonna drink wine. Then you have the steak sauce if there's an appetizer. That could, you could easily rack up like a bill that's over a thousand dollars easily. Easily, you just get some of those, some of this, some wine, or maybe not a thousand, maybe like five hundred, six hundred bucks. Yeah. Easily, you could do that. But then you got a tip. Then a tip too. That's probably like a, seven hundred bucks. Not, you yeah, you do generous. like a hundred eighty buck tip. Like yeah. I, I will say, those waiters are. Shit, they oh, make they are making bank. bank. They probably went to school for that shit for <laughs> some oh, reason. God, yeah. The valet probably makes good money too. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I see Mad they're, tips, they're constantly God. like packed. You think, you think they get excited when the McLaren pulls up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, be careful, be careful. Yeah. Well, don't worry, sir. I will. No, they're like those guys. Like they walk up, they throw the keys to the valet. Like here, go park it for me. Like no. that one scene from um. Uh, Shang Chi, Shang Chi, <laughs> and another thing too. How much do you think valet costs too? Uh, I mean, valet uses doesn't like cost a lot, right? Thirty, bucks? forty dollars, yeah, probably. That much? You think? For Capital yeah. Grow, I assume. Yeah. Probably, yeah. I know in like Federal Hill, there's a few places. It's only a few bucks, bucks for valet. Five, yeah, ten bucks. Yeah, yeah but double, double, and triple that for 
capital. Oh, out. easily yeah, has so. to be, has to be. But yeah, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So if y'all in Rhode Island, you know, you got some money, you know, you got a whole mortgage to, you know, <laughs> blow money off on. Yeah. By all means, go to Capital Grill. Yeah, for if, it, you if, know? if you if try you, their burgers. If, if if it's your last day on earth, you might as well go there. I mean, yeah. that's really the only explanation I can give you, unless you're. I would unironically have to take a loan out from a bank if I wanted to go there. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, I can't afford that. <laughs> like what? Oh my god. Oh, uh, what are we at? What do you mean? We're we're, we're home. Oh, fuck off. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Um, no, I think that's it. Oh, you didn't want to talk about oh the upside down house? Yeah, upside down house. Yeah, Coachella was this weekend too. So oh, I don't care about that. Okay, <laughs> maybe you can go ahead. I don't yeah. care. Coachella was this weekend, and uh, Harry Styles was Jerry headlining. Styles. Jer- Jer- Jerry Jerry Giles. Giles. Jerry Giles was a uh, headlining. He headlined uh, last Friday and now this Friday, and. Last week, or the beginning of actually, I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday. Apparently, his whole entire album got leaked, um, plus his unreleased songs from like his first album and a lot of like One Direction songs that yeah. he sang. You can listen to the ones that he that, like his unreleased ones easily um, on like a website, but like his whole album apparently like that that's like it's it's a quote unquote a rumor because there hasn't been a de- definitive link, but. Sony, the one who produces the music, even came out on Twitter and says, um, PSA, um, friends, um, good friends only listen to Harry's house um, on May 20th. So, like, they obviously knew that there was a leak and stuff like that. So, they, like, obviously, like, shut it down. And I guess, like, Harry even, like, kind of mentioned it at, like, Coachella before he was going to sing, like, a brand new song. He goes, this is for the people who have only listened to this song here at Coachella because he's only performed it at Coachella. But, yeah, apparently some dude leaked it. Um, from Damn. the inside, and what's funny it was on April twentieth too. So someone really said, "Oh, it's May twentieth today." Like, <laughs> someone was <laughs> smoking too yeah, much. It was April twentieth. They said <laughs> they saw that wait. four. They said, "Wait, one, two, three, five. Yeah, we can release it today, bro. Release it." So now that nothing really to talk about that. It's just something that was kind of funny. That almost Jerry that Giles happened. sounds like a computer software engineer Jerry from Philadelphia. Giles. Jerry Giles doesn't sound like a British singer. Yeah, a oh, British singer. British. British. We. Oi. British. Nick, aren't you making some music? I am. Oh yeah, making I'm making oh, an you, AP. You have some bands, names, aren't it? GP. Well, yeah, we got a few band names. Oh, I don't yeah. No, we haven't thought of one yet. Mm-hmm. But Jicky. Yes, that's it. That's it. Just Jicky Jilvestri. <laughs> there that's, you go. that's the name right there. Jicky Jilvestri. Uh, well, thank God we're not live because this, these awkward pauses. awkward pause. <laughs> you should name it Jimothy. J- Jimothy. Jimothy. Yeah. Any reason for Jimothy? Be- or just because? Or okay. just name a song Jimothy. Why can't I name it Jigel? Jigel. That's not, yeah, that rolls off the tongue. Jigel, 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 Jigel. say your outro. I think we're done here today. Really? Okay. Yeah. I don't yeah. think we got anything else yeah, to talk we're, about. We're on Jorn Hub. Jorn oh, Hub. yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Jorn yeah, <laughs> <Jordan laughs> and the Jays. Yeah, All right, yeah. so. Go crazy. With all the Jays. Jutu. We're on. Jutu. And you can, you can. That kind of sounds wrong. <laughs> you can, no, say it. Tell you say it. Say you can, you can. All right, we're on Jappel. Jotify. YouTube. Um, Jandora, Jamazon, <laughs> um, Jamazon, Jugal, sounds like a Jugal, <laughs> Jornub, um, Jex videos, only fans. Make sure to fa- um to share with your jamily, your drens, your jogs, your jats, your jishes, your your jibbethies, your jagels, your jamals, your your jikis. We're taking this to the grave. We're gonna die with it. And this is this is Jife John GC mode. We're gonna be at like we're gonna be on like a rocking chair. We're gonna be eighty years old. We're gonna be like, man, we really fucking did that. What was wrong with us back then, bro? We're gonna be looking at this like we actually said that. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna say this tomorrow. Yeah. We're gonna when it releases. We really said that. <laughs> it took a the couple title days. has to be with Jays. J- J- just Jays. <laughs> just J- oh well, Johnny Depp. <laughs> Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. There you go. Jamber Jared. Jared. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, people won't get the, the context if they're they, looking at they it. Will they will. They, they might not click on it though. <laughs> yes, they will. Yeah, they will. They'll, be, they'll see like, oh, they spelled it wrong. Let me go bully these guys. And they'll actually watch it and <laughs> no, be like, Julie. Oh, I get the joke. I'm still gonna bully these guys. Jigel. What jar? Jer? Jinal? Jerds? I can't do this anymore. <laughs> what do you have to say? What do I have to say? Just do I, I can't do it. <laughs> what? I was trying to say like, what do I have to say? But with all J's, um, um just do I, just I. I got it. I got it. What? Ready? Yeah. Drew Jedi. Dun, 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 dun.